it's very important to pay attention to the actual flow of work in a, in a company. Um, not just how fast the product is made or whether you, you are delivering to the customers what they want, but you should be paying attention as a manager to who is doing the work, how he is doing the work, and what the work really is. What is the essence of the work that you are hoping to get? Um, the uh, Once you pay really attention to that, you may notice that this person who is doing working with customers most of the time, this person is not doesn't enjoy talking to people. He's he's more like a, a, a concentrated uh, person who wants to work alone, but not not schmooze with with people, uh, customers, and so forth. So you say, okay, so this person we are wasting his strength. He's not doing what he likes to do or can do well. Let how can I move this person to do a job that is more um, matched to his skills that is that is there uh, and find somebody else who actually loves to talk to people but has no chance train him to interact with customers or clients or whatever so that he this other person is matched to his skills you know and the um, and this can go to very refined uh, matchings because some people are really good at visualizing things, others are good at expressing things in numbers, um, and the a good um, manager, I think it's like a orchestra conductor of an orchestra. You find how you can achieve the best the best outcome by using each instrument so to speak or each player uh, to its best that um, awareness of strengths and how to match them with the needs of the company with the with the things you are doing that's where leadership i think really uh, is the most important part of leadership.